Welcome again everybody, this is Mr. Darby and today we're going to be working with watercolor pencils. So we have this project here and I know you can't see much of it because I zoomed in quite a bit. But this is our finished half. You can see right here, um, where are we at here? Yep, right here. So I left this area, it's got a highlight. And over here, it's got a lot of shadow, a lot of depth there. As you can see, I'm trying to make the paper look like it's round even though it's flat. Um, same thing over here, try to have that deep values over here and then gradually go over and go to the light values, try to give it some sort of form and shape. And this is what I've been asking you guys to do all along because this is one of my opinions, in my opinion, this is one of the biggest things in art is, um, in creating art is value, creating that value, pushing the darks to make the dark darks and the brights brights, bright brights. Okay, so, so we're going on over here, as you can see, I've already done the ribbon here. Um, so now we've already went over here and I'm not sure if I'm going to go over this again because it's not quite the same as the one we just looked at, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm going to look at it when it's finished. Great thing about watercolor pencils after everything's dry, I can touch it up again. Um, I really like the streaky finish here. That's kind of what I was going for because it's supposed to be that old used worn paper. So let's get right down to it and we're going to try to get this because it's, it's a scroll basically rolled. So we're going to get right down to it here. And I like to work, and there's no one correct way to do this. There's lots of different things here, uh, ways to do it. So what I'm going to do, I have this rotated. So this area right here is at the top of my paper, and this over here is towards me. But I, so Even though that's not the correct way of doing that, if I had it the other way around like this, and this was towards me, there we go, get you in the camera there. Then I'd be pulling it towards me. I don't want to do that. I want to go towards the dark part. I think that's a lot easier for me. But like I said, there's more than one way. So I do get my brush wet and then I get a quick little um, uh, tap the brush to get the excess off because you don't want to put too much on, especially drops. It's going to really screw things up. So I'm just going to start here and I'm going to go. right over here right so you see how I, I went across that and I'm going to go back here flick some water off I'm going to go over here and this time I'm going to get this area wet let me get this out. Oh, that went too far. See, look at me rushing. So I should, I could probably pull that up so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm trying to blend all the little flecks of color I see. But what I'm going to do is take this. And I'm going to, it's still wet, just like with watercolor. It's going to go where I tell it to go. I'm going to try to blend it and make the, my last marks up towards the top so that's where the darker image is. And I'm going to go here as well. See how that goes there. And then I'll go over here and so forth. I don't need to get some of that. I'm bringing it up. Now, if it dries a little bit with watercolor pencil, I can go back over it and kind of bring some of it alive again and do that um but like you said you, you start in one area and you go you work towards the area you're trying to leave your color in at least that's how i do it there's lots of different ways you can do that and so it's kind of like scrumbling you go back and forth a little bit of course i think that's what's helping me make this texture um so i kind of like to have that little worn look here and i want that to be a little bit darker so go back and forth all right, everybody, if you guys have questions, please let me know. Like I said, this is only one way or one style. Um, well, I have you on here. I don't think you can actually see this, but I made a little dot right here. And because I'm slight perfectionist, I'm going to try to pull that out when it's not working. I don't want to smear it to make it worse, so I might just leave it there. Oh, there you go. Got a little wet, pulled it off. Not bad. So I got a little bit on the paper towel. 
All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, please let me know.